everyone. So in today's video, as you can probably see behind me, here is Savannah. And you can, excuse me. <laughs> she is incredibly hairy right now. So in today's video, we are going to actually be clipping. Savannah is a full on mammoth at the moment. Just look at how thick her hair is. So before I got started, I started with brushing Savannah's entire body with a curry comb and a medium brush, just because when you're clipping, the dirt on the horse actually is what makes the blades dull. So generally you want the horse to be as clean as possible before you start clipping. Okay, so now that Savannah's all brushed off, I'm going to just make sure that she gets used to the clippers. So she's actually been clipped about, I don't know, five times since I've owned her. So she's very used to them, but with any horse, you always wanna make sure that you're getting them used to things and that they're not gonna be nervous about it before you start. So like I said, Savannah doesn't really care about the clippers, but she doesn't like them up around her ears. So we're gonna keep that in mind. Now that Savannah's all clean, we're gonna start clipping. Pretty much every time I start clipping, I always start on the right shoulder. I don't know why, I've just, oh, I've just always started there. And I always start by trying to make that line between her leg and her shoulder really crisp. Also, for those of you who don't know, uh, I actually clip my ponies because in the wintertime, while they're getting exercise and they're playing polo, they get really, really sweaty and disgusting. So clipping them prevents them from staying wet for a long time and then getting sick and then possibly getting different kinds of skin infections. Okay, so Savannah actually has this little mole on her belly right here. Um, we've had it checked out by vets. They say that it's nothing, but um, I almost forget about it every year and I almost clip it off even though uh, it's still there. So after I finish up the right shoulder, I move on to the belly all the way up to the neck. The main advice that I can give you while clipping is to go in the opposite direction of the hair. And the other thing too is that when you're shaving, make really long strokes. That way your lines are very long and less noticeable. You generally don't want to do square sections. You kind of want everything to be very round or to be coming to a point. That's the easiest way for you to not have big noticeable squares of clipping that end up just looking very patchy and a little bit weird. So the way that I'm leaving Savannah's neck is really not ideal, but that is relatively her line to where she starts to kind of misbehave a little bit. So I'm clipping all the way up to that line and then I'll do her head when I get to it. Every like two or five minutes, I normally take a break and spray off the blades. You don't want the blades to get too hot because like, of course, that's not gonna be comfortable for the horse. And spraying the blades off every so often actually helps keep them from getting dull. And putting more oil on also helps the blades not get dull. It's actually so funny how much of a color difference Savannah has between her long hair and her short hair. So aside from a full body clip, what I do every year is I actually put designs on all the horses. So Savannah gets this unicorn, which is actually my personal logo. And on every horse that we have at our farm, they get a design on their bum, they get a little design on their shoulder, and they get some initials on their opposite butt cheek. So the best cardboard to actually use for this is cereal boxes because paper is too thin and regular cardboard is just a bit too thick that the clippers can't actually do their job. And this stencil of Savannah's is very old, but it still works. So on their right butt cheek is normally the side that I put the design on. And that's mainly because when you're hitting the ball in polo, it's on your right side. So most of the pictures are of people hitting on their right side. And uh, that means that they can see the designs that I put a whole bunch of work into. Before I start, I just pick where I want the lowest part of their body clip to end uh, between their back legs. And then I create a straight line that goes all the way across their thigh. So the way that I normally start is I pick the spot that I want it to be at and the angle. And I start with the bottom left corner. 
The reason I start with the bottom most corner is because if I happen to mess up the design right off the bat, I can move the stencil up like three inches and I still have her whole bum to redo it in case I need to. So the main reason that I do the whole outside first is just so that um, I can get the basic shape before I start going in and doing all the details like under the neck and inside the mane. I just did that one because uh, I wanted to, I don't know. It is also very important to make sure that your stencil stays lined up with the stuff that you've already clipped, otherwise your design's gonna be wonky. So I know it doesn't look like a unicorn yet, but uh, now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do a bit more of the details. Okay, so that looks a bit better. Now I'm gonna go through without the stencil and I'm gonna just clean up the lines and all around the outside. It would probably be a lot easier to use smaller clippers, uh, but I don't have smaller clippers, so. You always wanna make sure that when you are doing these designs that you really take your time because you can take the hair off, but you can't put it back on. So uh, if you mess up, um, you either have to live with it or take the whole thing off. So I hope I don't have to do that. So a quick tip for getting these little details like eyes or little slits. You pull your stencil back about half an inch and then you push it up, which causes the hair of the area that you want to clip to poke out of the eye and then you can just buzz it off. Which gives you your placement and then afterwards you can either go back in and clean it up or don't if you're too nervous. Oh, turns out the unicorn's a little bit angry this year, but uh, <laughs> it's too late. It is what it is. All right, Sorry. so now that her bum design is done, I'm gonna finish clipping this whole side and then we'll move on to the other side. You wanna also be careful when you're clipping the horse's spine. Just use the weight of the clippers to press down on their back. Don't actually press down, otherwise it can be kind of uncomfortable. As you can see, this side is done. It looks very choppy, mainly because dark bays are really hard to get looking smooth. But uh, here's a quick tip on how to get rid of some of those lines. The best way is to stand back and look at the areas that are the most prominent or the worst, I guess. And you want to go in with the clippers and just cut the hair at different directions until you find the direction that actually gets rid of the dark spot. So I actually have these little glitter designs that I plan to put on her shoulder here. I have a breastplate also just to make sure that when I clip the designs, I put it in a spot that you'll be able to actually see it once her breastplate is on when she's wearing tack. After I finished clipping the little sparkle designs, I went on to what I did on the opposite shoulder where I just go from her shoulder, belly to her neck. So another tip, she's actually already doing it. Another tip for getting this neck area right in here is to actually turn their head away so that it's easier and it's more flat. So I'm actually going to switch over to the battery clippers because the green ones started to get a little bit hot. Uh, so I'm going to let them cool down for a bit and switch over to my other pair. The only problem is that these ones don't work as well. Cool. <laughs> they sound so sad. They still work, but they're, they're struggling a little bit more. All of our horses get a little initial that go on their left butt cheek. And this is always the initials of whoever owns them. So in my case and everybody in my family, they all get a VDB for our last name. Oh, I was so close to messing up right there. Oh. No uh -oh. more. No more. Batteries are dead. <laughs> oh. 
They died. <laughs> so, just in time for the blue clippers to die, the green ones are now... Ah! <laughs> the green ones are now nice and cool. So the only thing left to do is her armpits, which um, is mine and her least favorite part. So the reason that it's actually my least favorite part is because my head basically has to be right up close so that I can see what I'm doing and then I end up inhaling hair, as well as I kind of have to pull her skin around a little bit because it's very wrinkly in the armpits. I always really take my time when I'm doing horses armpits because there is so much loose skin and wrinkly bumps down there that it's really easy to accidentally cut them. So you have to be very careful and gentle. So now Savannah's all done. Uh, I'm just now going to look over her whole body and try to clean it up a little bit. So like I said earlier, the easiest way to get rid of dark spots and little shadows and stuff is to run the blades over their fur in slightly different directions. And eventually you will find a spot that will get the hair off at the right angle and make it all nice and smooth. Also, I don't think I touched on this in my last polo related video, um, but polo ponies actually don't have manes. And the reason for that is because when you're playing, it is a rule that you have to have double reins. And if there's a mane as well as two sets of reins, it gets very hard to manage it all and stuff gets tangled. So it's easier to just shave their manes. Also, right now I'm just brushing off Savannah because I have finally finished. I'm going to put a blanket on her. That way she doesn't freeze now that she's got no hair. Oh, I missed a spot. Also, please enjoy Morgan's commentary from when she turned out Savannah. You're free. Are you gonna do something? Oh, just water. Okay. Good girl, Savannah. Naked pony. No, just food's interesting. So I hope you guys liked today's video. Now that Savannah's all nice and shaved, she's not gonna be so sweaty anymore when I play her. I'm actually very happy with how Savannah turned out. Over the next couple days, her coat will even out and grow in and get rid of some of the patchiness. She looks way better in person than she does on camera. On camera, her fur looks so patchy and so streaky, but in real life, her fur actually looks very smooth. She is going to be much happier now, now that she's all shaved. Now she's not gonna be sweaty and disgusting every single time I ride her. I actually have 20 horses left to clip. So um, yeah, I'm gonna have a whole video dedicated to clipping all of the designs onto those ponies. If you guys liked the video, leave your thoughts and comments down below. Leave the video a like, maybe subscribe, turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos, and I'll see you guys later.